Right now, it's time for Emma Lawrence's news. Emma's news, brought to you by Coca-Cola. Now that's refreshing. Very popular. Very popular segment. Very popular. Uh, just get cracking, Em. Go for well, it. Well, uh, last week, Handy, you were uh, the central part of our social poll and yeah. we put it out there if anyone has a, a drunk photo with you to send them in. And we had a lot, so I thought maybe we could go through some of them if that's okay with yeah. you. Okay, the first <laughs> one. First one is from at Juju Cans. Oh, that's a, quite a nice one, looking nice and close there. I'm not there. even drunk there. You are so um, young there. Uh, <laughs> we've also got one from at uh, Kirkman. <laughs> You know that? Do you remember any of these, Heidi? Any I don't remember that one. No. No? No. 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 Maybe you remember yeah. the next one uh, from at Chris <laughs> O'Graham. Yeah, We're talking about <laughs> Lady Without Look at the doll. Arm. What's the go there? Yeah. What's Is that? Is you grabbing Jeez, her? That's um... not long ago. That one just bought that jumper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. No. <laughs> the next one is from at Ross Ashman. That's a, a more classy drunk photo. I think that's not too uh, bad. That is... That's summer, Heidi, because you always look homeless yeah. in the, summer. Yeah, I've got the beard in summer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I usually am homeless in summer because I usually come home drunk every night. So. <laughs> and at 8.093 is the final one. <laughs> <laughs> one. Uh, How many Ado. years? How many uh, I went to school with Ado. There are a couple of mates from school. Ado and his brother. Oh, yeah, brother. Sure you <laughs> Based on how they've aged compared to you, NRL is not good for people. That was. No, obviously not, Barney, and there's a lot of studies that say it's not. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> you know what's also concerning? We got hundreds oh, and hundreds of photos yeah. of you drunk. I'm concerned that they're an. You're never sober, to be honest. You might have a problem. So I want to ask if anyone out there, anyone has a sober photo of Heidi, please send it in. And that's our social poll for this week. So uh, get on our socials, of course, which is uh, at Professor on Fox on Instagram and Twitter. I I'd like to see just one, personally. But anyway. Very good. Now, um, oh, our good mate Desi over at Manly. So their chairman, Scott Penn, put a letter out to uh, all of the uh, players and coaching staff saying you can't call it Brookvale Oval. It has to be called Lotto Land. That is because they have just re-signed with Lotto Land as the naming rights partner, but also the coaching partner. So that's a pretty big deal. Coaching, coaching part partner? Yeah. What, is, yeah. what, is a coach, what does that course, involve, a coaching course. partner? Well, you know, like. obviously the coach has to do a few extra things in return for, you know, the sponsorship dollars. It's pretty simple. I, I think Desi helps out with a few things like, you know, I think he's the new barrel girl for Lotto Land, from what I understand. If we can take a look. Welcome to tonight's Lotto Draw with Des Hasler. First number this evening, and it's four. That's the number of Trebojevic brothers Desi wishes he had in his team. Next up, it's 15. Funnily enough, that's the number of chances Raylene gave Desi before she finally pissed me off from the Bulldogs. <laughs> Big shout out to Dean Pay if you're watching at home. Good luck putting that cluster f back together, pal. <laughs> Waiting for the next number. And it's eight. That's the number of times Trent Barrett called Desi crying and begging for his job back. <laughs> now it's on to the supplementaries. And your first one is 40. That's a four, as in Des won four premierships at Manly, followed by a zero, as in Desi gives zero f**ks that he never won anything at Canterbury. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a recap of your numbers for this evening. Hopefully you won Lotto, like Des did when Raylene sacked him and he sued the Bulldogs for all they're worth. <laughs> yeah, I'm filthy rich. And we'll see you at Brook... Ah, oh, shit. I mean, Lotto land. <laughs> well worth the money there, Lotto Land. Now, at the Dragons, they have banned any disparaging or just any negative sign in general at their games, which isn't such a bad idea. There are a few at the game uh, over the last few weeks criticising their coach, Paul McGregor, asking him to step down. I mean... Look, that's a bit harsh. I just don't think we need it in the game. And Lats, I thought I'd ask you, if if I was to sit you down with the guys holding up that sign, what would you say to them? I don't think I'd say anything. I'd just listen to uh, what they had to say. <laughs> no, Jax, I saw a f*** say that on TV the other night. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I think we know which one this one is. Have a look. If I was to sit you down with those guys holding up that sign, what would you say to them? I don't think I'd say anything. I think I'd listen to it there. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Emma Lawrence and her news, everybody. Emma's News, brought to you by Coca-Cola. Now that's refreshing. If you enjoyed that clip, then you should probably stop being such a tight ass and get a KO subscription or a Foxtel subscription, and you'll see loads more of us.